What's going on guys, Kit Bash here. I wanted to talk about these SDCC releases. Uh, SDCC has been gone for a while and I really feel like this year it just really sparked a lot. Especially just seeing all the releases and cases and the slowly released stuff online. We don't have to wait Fan First Fridays and stuff like that. I just feel like it was a really awesome time and I wanted to talk about it. It really reinvigorated my love for action figures seeing this SDCC, so it was awesome. Uh, I'm trying. I'm gonna try to go to Comic Con next year for real, for real, because this just seems like a place where it's just magical. But Hasbro, I know everybody loves Marvel Legends, and Hasbro announced some pretty good stuff. Some stuff just not so good, but we're gonna talk about it. Here's the Marvel Legends uh, '90s Beast with the lab coat, X gene uh, test tube, brand new head with glasses, mind you. This figure looks pretty solid. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I own the first one from the wave. I don't remember what wave it was. Was it, it wasn't Juggernaut. I don't remember what wave it was in, but I know a lot of people missed out on that figure. So this is a, a good opportunity to be able to get the figure and then you're going to be able to get it how everybody wanted it in the first place, which is a lab coat, glasses, and test tubes, books maybe. But I think they're really smart for doing this. Like I said, the people who missed out have an opportunity and then the people who have one can now get one with a lab coat. So... 33 or well, 34 bucks probably 40 depending on where you order it from uh not a bad price because if you were to buy this figure after market you're gonna pay 40 plus and then to get a jacket you're gonna have to pay like 35 bucks so you're already in a hole for 70 so best bet just buy this one and you get it comes with everything you want this is how the original beast figure came with two extra hands well now you get it with this and some other hands and stuff like that so that's pretty sick uh not really too sure what they're doing here with the loki and the tesseract uh, I watched the Loki show and he only had the test rack in the first episode. And then once he got into TVA spoilers, he found out that none of that shit even mattered where they were because they couldn't even use it. So I don't know why they put these two together. Would have made more sense to me to either have him look how he looked in Infinity War or how he looked in Avengers on an updated body with the test rack. Would have made so much more sense. I understand they want to give us a new Loki because we didn't get this Loki in a wave, but at the same time i do not understand why they chose this with the tesseract it's just really weird to me but if you always wanted a tesseract here's your chance here's the inside i know it lights up so i'm pretty sure that's the light up mechanism this thing comes apart i feel like an infinity stone should have been in there but that's just me um this guy is part of a two-pack with terax for the life of me i cannot remember his name if you know his name let me know in the comments because i it just, i just draw a blank every time but two pack with Terax and I was excited when I saw this and my excitement slowly like waned because as you can see on those hips, ball jointed hips, that is so old school. It's just not even funny. I don't know why they didn't give us a new body. Same thing here. This is the Grim Reaper mode. I don't know why we're still getting the Grim Reaper mode, at least with this, how it looks now. They need to update those ankles. They need to do different torsos, which is crazy because they did a new torso on Century. But I don't know why they're doing the things that they're doing. Like, it's just really, really weird to me. Um, not a bad looking two pack, but Terax should have been on a new body. Uh, Sandman, Absorbing Man, both Sandman's Absorbing Man. And probably another one. I can't, I don't know for, I don't know why they're using this body. They could have made a new body. They had enough time, obviously, but they could have used, you know, a kit bash version of the uh who is that omega red body anything really but i mean he's here now for the people who don't have him or didn't want to pay for him it's there this is a for pre-order i believe it's like 60 bucks i'm not i was gonna get it but i'm good i'm i mean i'm good i don't know maybe if i can get one in the trade or something and then we're getting into the stuff they didn't show promo image expo images for this is Howard the Duck with the Paul Rudd head or Ant-Man head. This is from What If. And then I didn't even get a picture, but Sharon Carter in the back. And then you have Ultron Bath in the back, too. Um, I don't know if this is a single release. It looks like it. I don't understand why he doesn't have articulated legs. I don't know what. I mean, I know what their fascination with it is. They, they get away with it. They know people will eat this up people are going to buy this and they're going to love it because of the Paul Redhead and they're not going to think about why he doesn't have articulated legs. If you look at him next to Sharon Carter, Sharon Carter, 
He looks to be a little bit, just probably a head shorter than her. Maybe a head and a half. It could have been a fully articulated figure. Now, if this comes with another figure, which I doubt, then okay. But if it's a single release and this comes all together, these two things come for 25 bucks. That's, that's not it. That's not it at all. Um, Beast again in the case. I don't know who this purple symbiote is. Somebody in the comments let me know. I'm not too sure. Didn't even look really. Um, I do like symbiotes. I was trying to get them all, but last year cost a lot. I do have Venom uh, Riot's coming. And I have, um, who's the yellow guy? I can't remember the yellow guy's name. But I have all of those. Uh, I had last year, but I sold it, which I regret. Hopefully, we get a new one, maybe. Uh, here's Riot. Uh, this figure looks good. Wish they would have did a new torso, at least. Monster Venom Body. Third time getting it. Fourth time getting it, because of Toxin. So it's on Toxin, it's on Monster Venom Bath, it's on the Monster Venom single release, and now it's on Riot. It's not a bad body at all. It's a really good, articulated, uh, big size Venom. I just want to see different stuff. You know, it just, it would be nice to have something different every now and then from Hasbro. But it does look like a good figure. Head Sculpt looks a little wonky, though. Century now, when I was speaking of the Grim Reaper mode. They did a lot of wrong here, but a lot of right. The new torso looks, it makes the figure look way better with just that torso. The only thing I would try to get rid of, those Jack Sparrow boots. I don't like those pirate looking boots on the feet. I don't know why they keep doing that. But with all of that being said, this looks like a great figure. It looks like a, a welcome update to the old figure, which was on a, what body was that? That ugly body, I can't even think of the name who started with that body, but that ugly, that ugly bigger body mold comes with a void head. I don't know too much about Sentry, but I know he is a force. He's like the Marvel Superman, so, but he has like drawbacks. I know he gets like, turns into the void, he turns evil and shit, so. There's Sentry, and then Scorpion, I knew that, I saw this coming a mile away. When, when, they, when they gave us the green one, I knew the comic one was coming, or the cartoon one, and I don't know who this butterfly guy is, but he's here. Scorpion's up for pre-order too on Amazon or wherever else you get them. Don't know who this is. The the boar. He looks like a boar, so I'm gonna say his name is the boar. I don't know who it is though. It's a decent looking figure. Uh, you know I love my black character, so I gotta get the one who remains. It looks really good. This figure looks it looks good. The, the Apple edition is that's pretty funny. That's I gotta get that one. And the old man Loki. Uh, this figure, I don't, they did some weird stuff here. I know what they were going for with the body, but they, I don't know. It just looks weird to me. I don't know if some people might love it. My personal take is it looks weird. Face sculpt is funny though. A promo image for Scorpion. Uh, I put this in here because I wanted to show y'all. You can already see the difference in the greens. The, the hips and the, the lower torso area are going to be lighter greens. I don't know if it's like that in the show or comics, but... Just judging from the Iron Spider that came out, you can tell like Hasbro is just hammering this stuff out. They're not really fixing QC. But just off the rip from a promo picture, just seeing the greens be different is terrible. So I'm already knowing it's gonna need to repaint. So that's unfortunate. Uh, She-Hulk figure looks pretty, it looks pretty good. Uh, a lot of people love that the face sculpt looks like it's stepped right off the screen, which it does. The, the face sculpt and the hair looks just like it does on the TV show, which is kind of cool. The only thing I don't like about female figures is they don't have the diaphragm cut. And if you don't know what that is, if you've ever seen the Lightning Collection figures, they have this torso articulation, but at the bottom, at the bottom down here, they also have a diaphragm cut, which goes this way, shoots down, and it comes that it comes back out. Just gives them a little more articulation. I think that would really help these female figures. Uh, it took them so it took people so long campaigning for double jointed elbows, and to finally have them is pretty sick. So. They, if they take that extra step and put the diaphragm cut, I think these figures would be in a league of their own. Because this figure does look pretty good. Uh, looks like a big fit. They didn't put it next to anything, did they? I don't think they did like a size comparison type thing. But it looks like it stepped off screen, so that's that's pretty cool. Here it is in package. Looks like it's the last figure for the Infinity Wave. I mean, my bad. The Infinity Ultron Wave. And it looks solid, huh? you know? That wave itself is kind of mixed. It's a mixed bag. It's all Disney Plus stuff. And it's all like the worst characters from Disney Plus, if you ask me. I, I can't think of nothing in that wave I want. Oh, maybe Moon Knight. That's probably the only one I'm, only one I'll be getting from that wave. 
But I can't think of anything else though. I can't think of no other, no other um, characters I would want to get. Cause they are, like the Hawkeyes look terrible. I don't know. That's just me personally. Now we're getting into the meat and potatoes. I, like I told y'all, I love my black characters. We have a new Black Panther wave. I am not mad about it. They keep shoehorning him in. I don't know why, but here's Black Panther comic version. Now this figure looks absolutely amazing. My only gripe is I wish they would have put it on the black suit Spidey body. I actually did a custom. I did one custom on the Spidey twenty or the Sunfire body, and I have another custom I'm doing on the actual black suit body. And I gotta tell you, it's way more articulated. This one looks good though. Finally, not a Bucky Cat body. That would have been tragic if they did that in 2022. Finally, not a Bucky Cat body. Um, it's on the Vulcan body, which is good. I was hoping they did that, and I'm happy they did. I like this figure. I love Black Panther as a character. A1, day one, I'm getting it. Uh, here's the whole wave. I didn't really want this to pop up right here, but since it's here, you got Nakia, White Wolf, um, Namor, uh, Ross, Okoye, and in the bath is Atuma. Here's White Wolf up close. Comes with two pistol or pistol and a, and a shotgun, space gun type deal. This is dope. I like this. You can army build this guy. I probably I probably would get about five of them. Uh, maybe six. I can't see a lot of people wanting this. Unless I'm wrong. Unless people just pre-order this shit and it sells out everywhere. But I doubt it. But I'll get five or six of them just to go with Black Panther. Uh, this is fire though. I really like what they did. The head, the hands. Uh, they really didn't do much. It's not much to the character, but the the forearms and the, and the lower legs are just it looks good. I like it. it It's on the spider UK body and that body does leave a little bit to be desired I would have preferred it to be on the 2099 body or Sunfire body whichever one you got first I would have preferred it on that body because it's just a little bit better articulated But this body is not bad. It needs a little it needs a couple mods in the legs to get really good articulation But it's pretty good uh, Nikhil, this figure looks great. Love the double jointed elbows. Doesn't get any better than that. That helmet to the head looks fire too. Like a, it's crazy. Uh, I'm excited to see you know Black Panther two, and I can't wait to see like what they're doing and all of that. But this looks like a good figure. Double jointed elbows, double jointed knees. Again, if they would just do that that diaphragm joint at the bottom, they'd be these figures would be set. I think that's the only step they needed to take. Like Namor should have had it too, because if you see, he has the. He has the diaphragm rocker at the top, but if he would have had the joint at the bottom, he could have gotten to some way, some way cool poses. Uh, this Nemo figure looks good, though. It looks like he stepped off screen. Only thing is the goals aren't as gold, but that's the Hasbro thing. You know, Hasbro's going to Hasbro. Uh, this figure, like I said, looks good. I am going to, if when I get it, repaint some stuff. I don't really like the, the way they're taking it anymore, but I mean, I, if it fits the story, then I guess. But I just wish it was just like the, like the comics. They're making it to be something that's different than, you know, what people remember, which is not bad because they've done a lot with MCU stuff, but I just wish they would have kept at least Namor's uh, origin the same. But I mean, I get what they're doing. And like I said, it's a good looking figure. Hopefully the character gets represented well in the movie, though. Um, Here's a Koye. This figure looks good. This figure looks really good. Double jointed elbows. From what I can tell, there's new stuff on the body. It's not a new body, but there's new stuff on there, like the shoulders or the shoulder overlays. Well, I got to say the shoulders, too, because it's double jointed elbow, so it's a whole new figure. Uh, you can tell from the boots down, that's new. I don't believe that's on the last figure. And there's a couple little things like the necklace and the little tassels hanging off the skirt pieces. Just different looking stuff. It looks different enough. I like it. And then Everett, Everett Ross, we ain't going to talk too much about him because that figure sucks. They need to update this suited body, so... And then here's the bath of Tuma. Uh, from what I understand, the movie, these are true Atlanteans, and Namor is like a half breed. He's like human. See, and that's my thing. I don't want to get into it. But in the comics, he's human, Atlantean, and mutant. I don't know if they're going to do the mutant thing in the movie. So in the, in the movie, he's half human, like half Aztec, and half, uh, mute, uh, half Atlantean. So we'll see. Hopefully, they shoehorn the mutant thing in there. That'd be, that'd be sick. This figure looks great, though. I cannot lie. Uh, this is a good-looking figure. I, I want this one. I like this bath a lot. I like that. It do this doesn't look limited to me. It looks like it has all the articulation it needs, and even the skirt pieces are individual. So looks fire. Like, imagine this with a wash on it, and you do, like, some bone painting on the bone part. It look it'll look fire, I'm telling you. And then uh, we're coming up on the end. They announced this Spider-Man and His Amazing Friends 3-pack. This is actually already up for pre-order. Uh, my only gripe with this 
three things. The Spider-Man should have been on a retro body. Iceman should have been on a 20, 2099 body. And the female figure should have the diaphragm joint. Um, if you've ever seen this show or commercials or skits of the show, the male the males are drawn like buff. They're drawn thick. It was drawn in the 60s or something like that. So the characters are they're a lot bigger than the toys have made them out to be. And, they, and I don't know why they keep doing Iceman like this. They keep putting Iceman on the worst bodies possible. So, well, besides the 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 AOA one was cool. And then the, the one, the retro one was cool. But I don't know why they keep doing that to Iceman. Somebody at Hasbro doesn't like Iceman. And then last but not least, these were not shown at um, Comic-Con. But I wanted to talk about them. People are saying the SHF ones look terrible and these look better. And these do look good, but I don't think they're going to compete with uh, import. But like these look solid, but they're not going to, they're not going to compete with an import. Uh, this is Toby. Here's Andrew. Uh, I did pre-order this three pack. Good looking three pack. Um, I'm not too, I didn't even save a picture of the Andrew figure. It's the same figure. I wasn't happy with the one I got in the wave. I'm not happy with this one. I mean, not this one. I'm not happy with that one in the, in the, in the case in the the pack i don't know why they did what they did but this andrew figure back to the topic this andrew figure looks great uh cannot wait to get these two i believe they come out next year these figures look great uh i absolutely am digging this i only gripe is i wish they would have came with toe articulation that was the only thing they could have added because if you see what i've been talking about these have the lightning collection diaphragm joint where you get the you get the rocker at the top of the diaphragm and at the bottom you get that crunch which is what the female figures need, which is what they should have had. It's even on a Toby figure. They should have done it. I think the Toby figure should have been a little wider, if you ask me. I see the Andrew one's taller. He should have been more slender. This one should be a little bit wider, but that's just me nitpicking. These figures look great. Like, comment, subscribe. You know, Let me know what you think about this. Did you go to Comic-Con? Did you get anything from Comic-Con? Did you pre-order anything they showed at Comic-Con? And I'm out.